Hi guys, this is Dan and welcome back to the channel. Everybody was looking forward to seeing who was going to be the final boss of the Eden's Promise Raid and I would say that pretty much everyone was surprised to see what we actually got from Square Enix. In this video I will focus on the look of the boss from E12, the one called Eden's Promise, also known as the door boss when it comes to savage content and I will explain why it looks like that and where Square Enix took inspiration from. A thing to keep in mind is that right after you defeat Eden's Promise on the normal raid, we have a cutscene with Gaia. The cutscene kinda reminds us of the final cutscene of Final Fantasy VIII. After all, we know that the whole Eden's raid was quite inspired from that game. In that cutscene, Gaia mentions the name Artemis, which is the name of Mitron, the Asian that we just defeated. As you know, Asians are called by their title rather than by their real names. For example, Emmet Selk's real name was Hades, Logarith's real name is Gaia and Mitron's real name is Artemis. Now, Artemis is the name of a Greek goddess. Like pretty much every god and goddess in the Greek mythology, she was worshipped for different things, hunt and fertility being one of them. And if you look at the screen, you will see how the statue of the Ephesian Artemis looked like. When I was a young student, I studied ancient Greek and Latin language and mythology at school. So when I saw the E12 boss, something in my brain clicked right away. And when I read the name Artemis in the cutscene with Gaia, I made the connection between the name and the look of the Greek goddess. Now, I don't want to bother you with a lesson on Greek mythology and I wouldn't even have the tools to do so, but like I told my static when we defeated E11 Savage and we were about to approach E12S, what people usually think are lots of breasts on the boss chest might actually be lots of bull's testicles. Depending on where they were coming from, ancient Greek people believed that they were either a thing or another. After all, as I said before, Artemis was the goddess of fertility. I'm sure that after this information I shared, you will look at the boss with different eyes. And if you're interested in raid content, I'd suggest to subscribe to this channel as I do live stream on YouTube where my static and I do week clears and at the moment of the recording of this video we're progging E12S. One thing that we should notice as well is that the name Artemis is linked to the name Artemisia, which in ancient Greek means of Artemis. This might be a little easter egg for the Final Fantasy VIII fans as Artemisia is the Japanese name of Ultimacia and as a matter of fact, in Central and Southern Europe, Ultimacia was actually translated as Artemisia. If you're interested in more of those videos, Savage Raids or Extreme Fights, make sure to subscribe to this channel as you will find more videos around everything related to 5.4 and as I said earlier, I do live streams when it comes to Savage Raid and Extreme Fights. And if you like this video, it'd be nice if you can hit the like button. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.